Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. This is set 3 of practice questions for your medical first aid exit exam. Hope this effort of ours would help you in passing your exam with ease. So let's get going with set 3 now. What are the three aims of first aid? Preserve life, prevent further harm, and the third one is promote recovery, provide comfort, or post treatment. So, other than preserving life, preventing further harm, the third aim of the first aid is to promote recovery. Answer is A. One of the dangers inherent with liquefied petroleum gas is as it warms up, it becomes heavier than air. The way it reacts with seawater, the strong odor it produces, its low temperature causes frostbite. So answer is D. Its low temperature could be the cause to set in frostbite. Difficulty in breathing may be a sign of heart attack, asthma attack, anaphylaxis, all of the above. Now, difficulty in breathing could happen in cases involving all the three problems. So, the answer is D, all of the above. Heimlich maneuver is used for burns battlefield injuries, anaphylaxis or choking. This Heimlich maneuver is used for choking wherein you can use your own fists for abdominal thrusts as a first aid in case of choking. ELISA is a test screen for red blood cells, white blood cells, HIV antibodies, answer is ELISA is for HIV antibodies. What is the shape of a suturing needle? Is it round? Is it straight? Curved? Or zigzag? The suturing needles are curved in shape, so answer is C. What is the meaning of hypo? high, medium, low. The answer is C, that is low. The term BLS means basic life sciences, bend, lean and support, basic life support, basic living support. The correct answer for BLS is basic life support, that is answer C. The treatment for sprained ankle is remove the shoe and check for swelling using the capillary reflex method. Keep the shoe on, apply the ankle bandage for support, elevate and apply cold towels. Keep the shoe on, apply the ankle splint and apply heat. Have the victim walk or move as soon as possible to prevent stiffness. The correct treatment for the sprained ankle would be as in B, that is keep the shoe on, apply the ankle bandage for support, elevate and apply cold towels. Which of the following is not a symptom of hypothermia? Confusion, coma, sweating, or fumbling hands. Of these, what is not a symptom of hypothermia is sweating. So answer is C. How many types of sutures are available? 1, 2, 3 or 4. There are two types of sutures that are available. One is dissolvable and non-dissolvable or you can call them as absorbable and non-absorbable. Acute or chronic pancreatitis 
is effect of alcohol on the pancreas, liver, spleen, or kidney. As the name suggests, its effect of alcohol on pancreas. How much exercise do you need? 45 minutes twice a week, 30 minutes three or four days a week, 60 minutes at least three to four days a week, 30 minutes at least four or five days a week. The answer is B, 30 minutes for four to five days a week. Which of the below is a cause of hypothermia? Food poisoning, extreme cold, extreme heat, or an animal bite? I'm sure we all know the answer is B, extreme cold. The process of heat loss through sweating is called as conduction, evaporation, radiation, or convection. The process of heat loss through sweating is because of evaporation. It's not actually called evaporation. It's because of evaporation because as the sweat evaporates, it causes cooling. Where should you place your fist on the casualty in CPR? Right side of ribs, left side of ribs, middle of the sternum, lower of the sternum. Answer is C. In the middle of the sternum is where you place your fist when giving CPR. Which of the following is least likely to get hypothermia? Chronically ill, drunk, very young or strong people. If you are physically strong, you have the better ability to withstand cold and lesser chances of getting hypothermia and therefore the answer is D, strong. What action should be taken for a patient suffering from heat exhaustion? Move to a cool place and told to lie down. Keep standing and told to walk slowly. Do some exercise and return to work. None of the above. I'm sure if the person is suffering from heat exhaustion, you would move him to a cool place and make him lie down and rest. So answer is A. Brain death occurs within two to four minutes of heart stoppage, within eight to minutes of heart stoppage, within four to eight minutes of heart stoppage, or four to six minutes of heart stoppage. The correct answer here is D. The brain de death occurs within four to six minutes of stoppage of the heart. What is the first aid for LPG in the eyes? Apply an eye spec to the eye. Keep the eyelid closed. Flush the eye with plenty of water or rub the eye area, rub the eye area clean. The correct answer is flush the eye with plenty of water. That is answer C. Since electrical burn victims may be in shock, the first medical response is to check for indication of broken bones, that's fractures, breathing and heartbeats, symptoms of concussion or bleeding injuries. Obviously the answer is B. You'll check for breathing and heartbeat. First aid should be given by whom? Only doctors, only nurses or paramedic, anyone in the vicinity who is aware, people in high positions. Well, first aid is to be given by anyone who has some knowledge and is aware of giving first aid or handling the casualty. Antiseptics are used to speed up healing, reduce inflammation, prevent infection, increase 
blood circulation i'm sure we all know the answer it's to prevent infection heat exhaustion is caused by loss of body temperature loss of water and salt from the body gain in body temperature or intake of water when working or exercising the correct answer is b loss of water and salt from the body is the cause of heat exhaustion which test should you use if you suspect that a casualty has had a stroke face arms speech test alert voice pain unresponsive test response airway breathing circulation test or pulse respiration temperature test the correct answer for a casualty of stroke would be face arms and speech test answer a what danger exists to people when co2 is released into a small and close space damaged eardrums electric shock frostbite or respiratory arrest it's the respiratory arrest or respiratory problems which could occur if co2 is released in enclosed spaces where people may be trapped which of the below can cause a stroke a blood clot in the artery in the brain a blood clot in the artery in the heart a blood clot in the artery in the leg or a blood clot in the artery in the lungs the answer is a that is blood clot in the artery in the brain could be the cause for a stroke a soft tissue injury resulting from impact of a blunt object is called as laceration avulsion contusion or concussion the answer is c that is contusion to treat strains and sprains use the acronym rice r i c e which means run inside call ems rescue incline compress eliminate pain rub ice crutches elevate or rest ice compress and elevate the acronym rice stands for answer d that is rest ice compress and elevate with this we come to the end of our third set of practice questions for medical first aid refresher thank you for watching marine gurukul video series if you have any feedback or you need further support you may write to us on marinegroup@gmail.com and you could also subscribe to our channel so that you get notification for our future releases thank you very much once again and all the best for your exams